viewers welcome to my youtube channel again so please i would love you to subscribe you know like and comment you can also share the video if you find it useful to if you find it useful to a friend so now we want to talk about today about how to make a wrap bodice so today i'm going to make a wrap bodice and we'll start by you know most wrap bodies you first start with cutting the back then you use the back to cut the front so let us start now for these bodies i left a zip allowance of one inch and um, for i now start my measurement so i've left a zip allowance so now i want to start my measurement her shoulder is 16 i mean her shoulder is 17 sorry which is eight and a half then we'll now keep one um, half inch for joining allowance which is nine so we'll square it down We'll square it down to the armhole, like so. Then we take the, uh, I'm using an armhole distance of nine inches. So we'll take it like so. Then her bust line is 12. I take my measurement as so. Her bust is 45 inches so for 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 wrap for wrap um tops wrap bodices um sometimes sometimes they have a loose fit so now this particular wrap bodice i'm doing has a loose fit so i'm going to be using 46 for her bust instead of 45 so which is 11 and a half then i i keep um, um a one and a half inch um sewing allowance then we also do same for the waist our waist is Okay, for this particular um, um, dress I'm making, the waist is a loose fit. It doesn't have a dart because we're going to join um, a smoky, a smoked um, band to the waist. So now we're going to be using the same measurement for the bust, just take it down to the waist. And actually, we have to actually take into cognizance her hip. So her hip is also 45. So it also rhymes with the bust. So... Remember that the dress is going needs to pass through her hip. Um, so her hip is also 45. So why I'm doing the hip and the and the waist the same way is because I'm using a smoking band for the waist. Sure you get you you get. I'm using a smoky band, a smoked band for the waist. So by the time we smoke it together, you know the waist now comes together to her actual waist. So. That's why I'm using the same measurement of the bust as the waist. So let us continue. So we'll curve our, we'll do our armhole curve. If you don't know how to do your armhole curve, you use your armhole rule and do the curve. Okay? So that's it. So now, her neckline, the neckline we are using, we are using a 3 inch, uh, the width, the width of the neckline is 3 inches. And uh, of course, since it's the back, we're just going to be using one inch for the back. Then we mark it like so. Yeah. Then you do your shoulder slant. If you don't also know how to do your shoulder slant well, you can use your ruler to do your shoulder slant. The shoulder slant is about one inch. Okay. Then, for now, we can cut the back. I guess we're done. So we cut the back now. Remember why I did the waist um, the same as the boss is because I'm putting a smoky band that will cinch the waist back to the actual size. Don't forget that. Oh, no, no, oh, eh, eh. If not for that, on a normal day, I'm supposed to use the actual the waist plus sewing allowance, but this one I'm using the same as the bust because of what I explained to you. So now this is the back for the front. Now this is for the front. We're going to be doing the wrap for the so. Now, remember that I kept a one inch um, um, zip allowance distance for the for the back. 
So we're going to be putting, we're going to fold in the back so that we can actually get what we need for the front. What I mean by folding in the back. Now, I want a four inch wrap for the front. I'm going to fold, you can, you can see what I've done. I folded in the zip allowance so that I can get my actual, uh, my measure, the measurement I need for the front, my wrap for the front. So, I want a, I want it to, lap very well at least i want it to lap by four inches or four and a half and um, four inches is okay so i want the wrap you know to lap by four inches now you can decide to increase or reduce the extent of your wrap the, the, the lapping of your wrap depending on what you want but i want it to lap by four inches so i'm um, taking that into consideration right now so make sure it's four inches you can see that i folded in the zip allowance for the back so that i can get my measurements so four inches four inches four inches Okay, so now we are, we are done with this. Now we want to do our V. We want to cross, we want to do our crossing. Before doing that, you can decide to cut, you know, you can decide to just cut, or you can cut later, anyone you want, but I think I want to do my crossing first before I cut. I just want to cut off the edges. Okay, so now after this, you see where it's crossed. Where you can see how what I marked. I marked the shoulder. So you you take, you can decide to use a ruler to do your crossing. So you can cross to the end, just like so. Do your V. Make sure you do your lap, your crossing to the end. Now, don't do it to the actual end. Why? I'll show you why uh, shortly. You can stop one inch, one and a half inch to the end. Now, mark, you can, then what you can, what you do right now is to cut the other parts of the, cut the other parts of the bodies, then cut your person too. Now, why I didn't do it to the end is because most wrap, most wrap bodices, you have to take in the two edges of the wrap by at least three quarter to one inch so that it laps well on your show on your neckline. I'll show you more. Let me just cut. Yes. So that's just the secret. That's the secret to wrap. Now I'm cutting the, I'm cutting the, I'm cutting the front armhole one inch higher than the back. Why? Because I want to put a bust that in front. So that's what I usually do when I use the back to cut the front. The front to cut the back. Okay. So now, before you remove your back, you notch, you mark where the crossing is supposed to take place. And you do a little bit of clipping there. Okay. And continue. Okay, so 
Like I was saying, we've done this now. You see how it looks now. So, what I was trying to say is that if you if you just sew your wrap this way, you know, you, you can see how it is, right? If you just sew it this way, once you sew it, the neckline will gape. There's no how it will gape. It will have a gape. It will it will gape, and um, you know, and it will it will not give you the desired results. So what we usually do is that we take in. You can see what I'm doing. We we take in the. If you don't do this, you know, you have to take in each edge of the wrap. Take it in. That's the secret to wrap. Anytime you're sewing any wrap bodies, if you do this, your wrap will come out fine. If you don't do it, your wrap will not come out fine. So you can see how I've taken it in. Your wrap will get, I mean, your wrap top will get if you don't do this. So you can see how I've taken it in. Taking the two sides by at least half inch, three quarter inch, you know, and cut it off. You're going to actually cut it off. When you take it in like this, then you have eliminated any gaping that will happen on the neckline. So this thing you did now actually eliminates any gaping that will that would that may have occurred on the neckline. So this is how it's going to be. So this is just a secret to wrap, guys. When you do your wrap like this, when you do your wrap for this like this, every gaping that's supposed to anything that is supposed to gap at the neckline, you have eliminated it. So, here is my bodies, my wrap bodies. I will show you how the dress comes out. Thank you. So, guys, this is our wrap dress. So, you can see the smoked band. And uh, you can see that the neckline is not gaping at all. It's just sitting well, even though it's a mannequin, but it's sitting well on the chest because of what we removed at the bottom. So this is it, guys. Thank you for watching. We hope you'll try yours and give us feedback. Bye for now.